It is generally considered common sense that the further away you are from an earthquake, the weaker the shaking would be. But the deeper the earthquake's origin, or hypocenter is, the stranger things get. But before we get to that, let's talk about the normal deep earthquakes. In 2001, the US Pacific Northwest was struck by a magnitude 6.8 earthquake. This earthquake had a maximum Mercalli reading of 8 or severe and a maximum acceleration of 0.3 g. Damaging, but it could be way worse. Let's bring up this earthquake's hypocenter from 57 kilometers up to 18 kilometers. That would be the 1994 Los Angeles earthquake. It was a magnitude 6.7 and it had a maximum intensity of 9 or violent and a maximum acceleration of 1.8 g. So we know that the deeper the earthquake, the less damaging it is. However, you might have spotted that the shaking is felt over a greater area. A good way to explain this is to hold a flashlight against a wall. If you are close to said wall, a small part of the wall will be lit brightly. This is a shallow earthquake. Move away and the wall is less bright, but more of the wall is lit. This is a deep earthquake. However, this analogy only works to a point. Sometimes, instead of concentric circles, you see this. This usually happens in really deep earthquakes, deep enough that there is a layer of mantle between the over and under riding plates. Some of the intensity patterns can be quite complicated, but in general, it is caused by earthquake waves' tendency to travel better in solid crust than the mantle. The waves, especially the damaging S and surface waves, would travel up the underriding plate until it reaches the point of contact with the overriding plate, then it would spread out in all directions. Deep earthquakes are a complex topic and this video only covers the basics of their mechanisms. 